coronavirus update. I'm Ben Thomas with an AP News Minute. Johns Hopkins University's latest tally shows newly confirmed cases of COVID-19 across the U.S. below 30,000 per day. And the seven-day average of deaths has now dropped to 836. But health experts say it's still too early to think we're clear of the pandemic. With the BA2 descendant of the Omicron variant now circulating, they're watching out for a new surge and wondering how long it will take to detect. Some say recent changes in testing for the virus and a decision by federal officials to reduce the number of labs hunting for variants could hamper efforts. Ohio State Professor Ji Young Lee says wastewater monitoring can be useful. It captures community level or building level or neighborhood level virus trend. However, wastewater surveillance remains patchy, and experts say it cannot be counted on to fully gauge coming surges. Health officials are increasingly focusing on hospital admissions, but those rise only after a surge has arrived. I'm Ben Thomas. At Children's National Hospital, everything we do is just for kids. Our top-ranked specialists are here for kids of all ages, from babies who need help before they're even born to teens and young adults. Our pediatric experts work together to diagnose problems quickly and thoroughly and use treatments designed exclusively for growing children. With convenient locations all across the D.C. metro area, find a specialist today at childrensnational.org stronger.